Ugh. All right, here we go. Hello, everybody. This is Dunkle Dylan here, God of Chaos, and today we are doing a one-shot "What If" that uh, should not even be surprising to you all. This should be the one shot of, of "What If" Deku was a drug lord. Or decided to get this out of the way than anything out else. So let's just get to it. I know you probably already saw the poster thing, but I decided to get rid of that, and I'm going to do both of them. It's just that the Space Marine one I mentioned is going to be a little bit more difficult. Because, well, it's Warhammer. It's going to be difficult. Difficulty, it's literally in its name. Hey, what can I mind here? Huh. I could probably use that later on. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yes. So, pretty much, Midoriya, obviously. It, in this one, Midoriya... Eh. The reason I'm doing this one, actually, is I got the idea from Breaking Bad. You know, the TV show? Y'all probably ever heard of it. And so, it's not going to be similarity to it, but it's going to have some of those features. The only difference is Midoriya was long divorced. So, no, he doesn't care. Air. So pretty much we start off with Midoriya. Mind you, Midoriya has a bear quirk called uh, Nightmare Bear, I guess, because that's what he technically looks like. He looks like the freaking Golden Freddy from the fourth Night Five Nights at Freddy's. How did it get to summer to winter so bloody easily? Huh. Weird ass game. Anyway, let's continue on. So, pretty much, Midoriya yeah, is doing that. This is when Midoriya literally... Yeah, just walks up to... Ooh, the... Well... Thingy. But yeah, sorry, I'm pretty much uh, not awake. Hey, what I mean by a thingy, I mean his, uh, meth map. His, uh, frickin' coke lab. Is that what they're called? Called? Coke lab? Do they call it coke lab? I hope they do. Oh, otherwise. Or is it a meth lab? Either way, they a drug lab. Because he makes more than just, well, marijuana, meth, and all that. He makes a lot of other stuff. And in this one, he used to be a chemistry teacher. He also makes weed, so you can imagine the stuff he brews. So, Midoriya... We actually start off with Midoriya. By the way, he's teamed up with someone who had a cork similar to his called Springtrap. Well, actually, no. Just uh, Decayed Bunny, I guess you could say. And this one, he actually partnered up, like, years ago, considering that this one is actually a drug... Oh, Lord. Right as well. And they decided to team up. So, yeah. This is when Midoriya... Yeah? Actually, no, we don't start with Midoriya. We start with Bakugo. Bakugo, in his office... By the way, the Hero Society does exist. It's just that Bakugo has matured a lot more since Midoriya left. Ever since Midoriya never came to UA. Yeah, Midoriya never came to UA. Because unlike like, the canon Midoriya... This Midoriya knows that his quirk will be immediately shung by as villainous as soon as he walks in that door. So, oh, he gave up his dream a long time ago. Even, uh, however, his mother is very disappointed in him and actually ne disowns him because he became a drug lord. But, but Midoriya doesn't care because she was only using him because he was only using her as a liability. See? And nothing more and nothing else. Those words actually hit her like a fucking train. Mind you, the Hero Society knows that Midoriya is a drug lord. Or, but they just can't point out the location. So, let's get to it. <clears throat> so, with Midoriya sharpening... With Midoriya, who is actually to getting ready for his next shipment. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, by the way, we're at, we're doing the Bakugo, uh, we're doing, yeah, bleh, fuck. Let me get the script. Oh, here we go. We start off with Bakugo in his office. That's where the hey and yeah thing came in. My bad. 
This one in Mako hears a knock on the door. Or, hey, yeah. Uh, still working on the Midoriya case? Ace, I'm taking a break on that one. I'm doing a crossword. You do crossword puzzles? Yep, for a little bit. I'll be I'm just taking a break. Still can't fan, find any, any trace of Midoriya, huh? <sighs> yeah, not one fucking clue. This case is going to be open for a long time. What makes you think that? <sighs> Midoriya is a lot of things. Sneaky is one of them. And me finding out that he became a drug lord is hitting me harder than I thought. Now that the fact that Karashima went missing, same because of his film, because everyone uh, could accused him of having a villainous quirk, or, or, even though he was just a bunny, that bunny didn't really look heroic. You're starting to sound like All Might. Right, oh, Chaco. I, I thought you were not one of them. Oh, Bakugo, you know, get out. You always jump the gun. This case is pushing you away from your friends. Friends? The first one that accused me of my court being villainous was immediately was Tinny Ida. What they don't know is that Class 1A is hearing. When was they ever my friends? That's not true. They were friends. Really? Was the only one that actually is my friend is Mineta. And everyone's nice of him, even though he's a pervert. I and you like it, Ochako. Oh. oh. Yeah, you don't think I haven't noticed you sleeping with random people? Who? Oh. Yeah. Uh. We all know it. We just didn't say anything because we didn't feel like it. So, unless you have a reason to actually really be here, here, or if you're te finally gonna tell me you're break up, breaking up with me, you can leave. I can't believe this. We're literally, literally trying to change. Change? Or are you just trying to get on my good side so you can find what evidence? Then it's the fact that it's your fault that Midoriya became a drug lord. lord. This one, Ochako, started to tear up. What would your son, what would your daughter say, finding out that the fact that and not only is you a liar, a cheater, and a whore, but also finding out that she's been doing we the same drugs that you swore to never take in front of her. I never took any drugs. This one he shows a, ba a little baggie of no no snow. Really? Where'd you get that? In your room. On my pillow. Oh. When Aerie pointed it out to me. So. Any more lies you're gonna try to put up? Now, get out. This one, she walks away. You know? Oh, I don't want to hear shit from you. Oh, this ain't one of those movies where I get to hear your bullshit. And tell your and tell class one a and not to bleed on the door. When Ochako opens it, Class 1A was hearing the whole thing. He's not doing it, guys. Let's go.
with Midoriya making some. Ow! God damn it! Sorry about that. Midoriya literally. This is when Midoriya literally just walked, looks at them. at uh, Karashima. Huh? I was wondering, what do you gotta get out of this besides the fact you're making money? I gotta ask the same for you. How long have you been a drug lord? About five months. Well, you're doing pretty well for shitty crack, for shitty brand. And, hey, hey, everyone starts somewhere. You could have told me <laughs> back then. Fair point. You're not gonna believe who just bought a bag. <laughs> Surprise me. Ochako Yoraka. What? Yep. She's now on the books. He throw he slides the book to her to a Karashima and she sees her name. Why? Energy. Hey. Rumor has it that Ochako started going whoring. Pretty much going to woman to woman woman and just started to fuck him. Oh. Out of what? <sighs> Roared in the street, boredom. She's fucking people out of boredom. Well, what else do you think you could do? A hot body like that, people are going to be drooling. She wants attention. Women always want attention. It's pathetic, really. Not all women want attention, though. Oh, really? Name one that didn't want attention. Uh, Jiro? Jiro is a gothic Satan, a gothic girl who worships Satan and wouldn't be hesitant to sacrifice her own family if she could, or get away with it. Okay, fair point. So, oh, are we gonna make more? Are we gonna start cooking again? Huh? Cooking? Yeah. Uh, we got another batch that needs to be delivered. By who? Oh, <laughs> remember this guy? Yeah, that's all for one. Uh, didn't Baku go take him out? Yeah, but that was a year ago. He came back. Heck. Heck. But he's stirring up a new society. Instead of being a leader of a villain organization, instead of being a leader of a terrorist organization, he's now the leader. He's now just running a drug business. And he wants to do drug business with you. Me and all for one haven't seen eye to eye for years. Wait, you know him? He's my dad. Wow, that must be tough shit. Being the father of a very powerful villain. Eh, we couldn't get along. Why? He didn't like the fact that I just wanted to be a teacher. That I want didn't want to be a hero. I mean, that I wanted to, didn't want to be a hero or a villain. I wanted to be a teacher. The only reason he's doing this is because he's gonna ask the question on why I'm doing this, and we're fighting, and he's gonna try to force us to answer whether we like it or not. So, word of advice, Karashima. Let me do the talking. Hey, I'm zipping my lip. You know me. I don't talk. You rarely talk. Huh. This one, Adoria takes a slight peek of his a Karashima's ass as he walks in. Karashima notices and says, Like what you're looking? <laughs> hey, not my fault you got a nice ass. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. 
Whatever, dog. Dog? Huh? When the fuck do people say that anymore? A lot of kids still say it. You're what? Fifteen? And how old are you? Wait, you're fifteen? I'm joking. No, I can't die from age. Remember? Undead. You look more of a freaking guy who just got survived to the Metro at the video game called Metro than Dub Dead. <laughs> Damn. You do? You don't look any better. Uh, Touche. Anyway, where was I? Ah, oh, yes. This is when Midoriya. This is when pretty much Midoriya gets done making the delivery. What type of delivery are we talking about, anyway? Three stone. I mean, three uh, pounds of marijuana. Pounds? That's a little light. Three pounds for just marijuana? That's a little bit light. Right? He started off small, because I'm going to get to the two big timings crap. Crap. Little chop. Oh, Ego must have found out who he is. What makes you think of that? He wouldn't become a drug lord unless his mother found unless, unless my mother found out. Oh yeah, that's gonna be useful. Anyway, this is what Midoriya says. Alrighty then. Anything else? None that I can think of. This is when my uh, Midoriya. This is when Midoriya just picks up his axe. Besides the fact that the new yarn, besides the fact that the, the all this, that's it. Anyway, I'll check going. This one Midoriya puts on on his gas mat. This one Midoriya puts on his camouflage clothing, mostly, mostly a gas mask, a suit, boot, and his fancy hat. Hey, you sure you have to kind of constantly wear that? Trust me, I want all for one. The less know me, the better. You know, words on the street, a lot of people are starting calling you the drug king. Yeah. Or the king of drug lords. Because you're making a lot more money than normal drug lords would. That's the best part of being a chemistry teacher. And you, you just deliver the stuff you need to deliver. Got it. I feel like a railroad agent from Fallout 4. God. Hey, it's better than Fallout 76. No comment. That. When Midoriya gets a location. Then. Ah, if it isn't the king of the drug lords. You got the money? Me? Yes, I got the money. Me? This one he pulls the head back. Midoriya... This one Midoriya just throws the marijuana to him. <laughs> oh, by the way, it's in a little Ziploc bag. Wow, that's some good stuff. Say, what's your name? I'm not here for a car. I'm not here to make friends. That's, I'm here for the money. Now, are you gonna pay up? 
Well, where I'm from, we get to know each other before we do business. Where I'm from, you get a bullet in your head if you don't pay up. Uh, or, claws start to sting you from Midoriya's hands. You get it worse. So what's it gonna be? This one, a couple of All For One's men attempt to activate their quirks, but Midoriya's not even close to intimidated. He just shows more intimidation. Until this All For One says, pay him up. My pay up. And this one may just give the suitcase to him. <laughs> and off it is when Midoriya walks away. Huh. Mask boss? You knew him? A long time ago. Don't know if I know him now, though. <sighs> Let's go. With Midoriya. Midoriya manages to deliver the goods. With Karashima. Hey, hey dog, you got the good? You got the money? Yeah, I got the money, dog. Here is the good. You got the goods? Right here. Here. And they start doing their deliveries. And this time, unlike Breaking Bad with what's his name, he's pretty much making bid. He's in this one he's actually packing iron. Here. Both melee and at right mid range. With my door. This is when Karashima like, gets back. back. But until. This is when my door. This is when he just got to long done delivering his final package. Hitch. Hitch. And this is when Midoriya. This is when before Karashima can go. This is when he hears Karashima? Shit. Hey! Baka Bro! How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Never better ever since I left that at school. Oh. Yeah, I can see that. You actually look a lot be better. It looks like you stopped cutting yourself. Yeah, I stopped that. Yeah, I stopped doing that. Went to see a therapist, you know? Well, that's good to hear. Here. Here. So, uh, how's, uh, how's what's her name? I mean, so, uh, how have you been doing? You're not curious about Class 1A? Man, fuck those... those freaks. Man, no. Man, fuck those demons. Because they made me and your... they made my life a heaven hell from day one. I don't want to know what, what the fuck happened to them. Yeah. And you know why. <laughs> Can't say I blame you. Oh, good. Well, that's... that's actually good. But that's good. But you wouldn't talk to me unless there's a reason. What is it? Um, have you? I know normally I wouldn't be doing this, but they're gonna ask me anyway. Are you willing to come back to the UA? What would black people say? A in word? Fuck that. Well, you can tell Nazu. The day I get back is the day he gives me a blowjob. So, tell that to him and tell him to leave me alone. I'm never coming back. Heck. Because unlike him, I'm happy. Hey. You hear me, me dude, bro? Yeah, I hear you. You're happy.
So unless you're here for something else, I will be off because uh, I got stuff to do. I got a job to look for. Or I get it. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, it's sweet, dog. I My mean, sweet bro. See you around. Yeah, see ya. When, when, ba when Karashima gets back, and he immediately gets it's that. We got a problem. What? Like, I just saw Kotsuki. He's he's literally like, like right around where we're at. Shit. How far is he? No, did he follow you? No, I took the long way around. How? I took look a lot of long ways, so it took them forever. They could have waited for a bite to eat. Eat type of lock. Okay. Plus, best part it is his traffic hour. Or, or and whatnot. True. You sure they didn't follow you? I double checked. Heck. Heck. And if I did they get followed, they wouldn't have noticed. There's no moron is dumb enough to follow a man and down here. Huh. That's good to know. Anyway, thanks for the like, thanks for the warning. You saying Bakugo followed you? Yeah, Bakugo. In that case, it's not gonna be a problem. Ow! Bakugo is a lot of things, but, but he's gonna be more questioning, aiding and fighting, unlike his whore or Chaco. Oh, Midoriya puts a cigarette in his mouth. Hey! He carries him and yanks it. Hey, no smoking. Okay. Especially in the mat. Especially in the meth lab. Yeah, good call. Thanks. Thanks. If you want to smoke, smoke outside, dog. Well, this ain't the place to smoke. Look, smoking is for ch smoking. King is bad for you, but you can't smoke around here. Here, dog. Remember, this stuff is easily flammable. Well, the most slighted is shit you pull could set us ablaze. Yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. Sheesh. I hope so. Oh, dog. Truly, I do. I don't want to explain how our meth lag explode. Yeah, yeah. So, anything else to uh, we should worry about? Uh, no. So, anyway, let's get to it. Shouldn't be that hard, right? No, it's not, because we're dealing with uh, stupid. It's, it's, uh, we're definitely dealing with idiots. All right. This is when Midoriya starts grabbing. This is when Midoriya walks outside. All right, and he just starts smoking. <sighs> and this is when Midoriya just hears, oh. It's you. Ah. Uh, oh, bloody hell. Oh. Oh, Chaka. I mean, this one he says. Inko. Oh, what do I... Oh, what bad... Ad go oh, what gods, odds, and devil's name did I ever do to see your mug again? And I just wanted to check on you. <laughs> yeah, right. Check on me. Why are you really here? Here. I know as sure as... How did you even find us, anyway? I followed your friend. He looks like Hiroshima. That... Uh, 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 nope. Leave me out of it. So this is where you do your work? Herc, that's none of your business. 
Really? Like, it's none of my business. Never will be and never have. So, unless you're here, here to buy, which I know you ain't, 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 or you're here to call the cops, which for some reason you haven't, get out. That's no way to speak to your mother. You were never my mother. You were an acquaintance, a pawn, someone that anyone can literally go to and fuck. Is that all you see me as? A hooker? I would say a whore, but you're not... I wouldn't say you are a whore, but you have standards. It's unlike that bit... Unlike that slut you tried to give me to. Oh, don't you start. She's not a slut! I, I'm not arguing about this shit with you. Why are you here? I need your help. <laughs> Pardon? I need your help. And why the fuck should I help you? And don't pull me at oh because you still love me kumbaya bullshit. And I want the real deal. Ew. None of that, that oh they're so good in you bullshit. Speak. Okay. If I help let you help someone, maybe there'd be one less monster in the world. <laughs> What's so funny? That's not the reason. What? There's a bigger reason. Those eyes? You ain't full of shit. If that was all, if that was your father, or if that was your husband, then I would say differently. But I know it's not that. If you really wanted me to see in the light, you would have told all the heroes where we are, and you could have asked them to put us in the villain rehab program by now. So, oh, speak. Because I can't do it on my own. Now that's actually the god of honest truth. With your weak ass quirk, your quirk's not any stronger. Oh, but it is. Because unlike your quirk, I'm able to take more hits and actually look intimidating. With your quirk, the only thing you can do is telepathically put a dildo up your ass. That's the only thing you're technically good at and always will be. So, is that all? Oh, son of a bitch. Bitch, I hate this puzzle! Do this. Yes. Out of all the locations, it had to be here. Anyway, let's get back. So Midoriya pretty much I started uh moving up. Actually, pause break. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to look up a Skyrim puzzle. Oh, this was gonna drive me into insanity. See, I think we all had those type of puzzles. Well then I think we can all can agree that they will drive you nuts! Anyway, let's get to it. Now. Oh. This is where she's going to be talking more, so... Let's do this. This is when Midoriya starts walking it. 
And this is when Midoriya just says, So, who does mommy want dead? And really, you're gonna pull the mommy thing? Well, that's what, what men call you. You when you start fucking them with a dildo, aren't they? Well, you see... Eh? What Inko does not know is that Karashima's recording the whole damn thing. Eh? Well, mostly the uh, talking part. Not uh, the full thing, and Midoriya knows it. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. This is when Midoriya says... Well, this is when Midoriya says, You want me to kill... Your ex-husband? Who you have not seen in years. And you magically think he came to me. I don't think I know. Oh. And what made you so blindly sure... That I do business with him. Everyone knows that All for One became a drug lord. And everyone knows to be a drug lord, they had to deal with the king of the drug lord. Which is, iconically, you. Oh, I know where this is going. Next thing you're going to say, I should become on the hero and join the academy. Even though I'm in my 20s. He's now. And I know as fuck, UA ain't a fucking college. UA is a school. What they're gonna do is lock me up. Up. That's the only thing they're gonna do. Ooh. You and I both know it. So, save your breath. And save me the freaking bribery. It ain't gonna work. Look. Please? How much money you got? Are you serious? I've gone low. Oh, Inko. I've gone low. What money? How much money you got? Even Karashima was thinking, shit, dog. Huh? I mean, sounds fair to me. That's where she pulls out $10,000. Who? What type? Who the fuck? Okay, have you been given blowjobs to? Honest pay, actually. <laughs> how is fucking someone? But how is having sex with anyone you come across honest work? Or, or, at least I didn't. At least I keep my dignity. Oh, don't you start there, motherfucker! You didn't keep shit. You're no better than the fucking whores that are being you oozed. You're nothing more than a joy toy. The only difference is you don't have an owner. You always will be a slut. And care sheep. This is when Ego just slaps him. <laughs> Your anger is still it as it is. Is? <laughs> you haven't given me that look ever since I you found out I was a drug lord. Now, oh, well, I'm keeping the money. What fool? What? For bribery. Right. And blackmail. You know, because you're dating All Might, aren't you? Her eyes open wide in surprise. How, how did you... Oh, bitch, please. It was all over the damn news. Everyone knows. Heck, well, even Karashima knows. And he doesn't watch TV. The Karashima? Hey, dog. Oh, he's right. Everyone knew. Nope. Oh, your husband was trying to hide it. Every in the villain organization knows. See? E. Inko, you can't hide shit from me.
This one Ingo realized it took her by surprise. The hatred in his eyes. She really has pushed some child that she once cuddled in her chop in her arms with. The nice caring erring teacher that she once saw as a son. Dead. Anything else? No. I didn't get to the last part. No, there isn't. Good. Now, get out. Out before or all my mourns for the death of his wife. This is when Carrot Eagle leaves. You know, I'd rather you hate me. me. And I shouldn't have go. This is when Eagle leaves. Hey, uh, bro, you good? Yeah! I'm fine. Uh. <sighs> hey, this one cares. She even looks at him. Look at me. It's all good. She's gone now. It's okay. <sighs> yeah, I'm fine. Like I said. All right. This is when he just walks off. Hey, can I ask you something? Yeah, go ahead. Your parents, did they find out? Dog, oh, my parents abandoned me years ago. Oh. So, I'm gonna be honest with you, I lost, I stopped caring about my parents years ago. When the first time they actually hit me. They hit at you? Yeah, they, uh, they hit me. Okay. But that was a long time ago. They got turned to no moves. I wouldn't even blame you for not mourning for them. <laughs> you know it's fucked up? I actually forgot. Ever, I even forgot. But they even existed until you actually brought them up. Sorry, it was. No, that's fine. It's fine. It was just. I wasn't expecting you to actually uh, ask that question. I clean forgot they existed, like I said. You? I'll be honest. I clean forgot that even my parents exist. good reason, actually. Yeah, you have a good damn reason. But hey, uh, are you free today? Why? Well, there's this new restaurant that's ta in town. Huh? And plus, everyone starts just started calling you the Drug Lord King. So no one's gonna know your face, because you're always wearing a mask. And no one's gonna notice that Midoriya is back in town. You can just make something up. Oh. But... Still, I'm surprised that Inko knew that you were a drug lord. Inko's a lot of things. I should have came up with better something better. Missing chemical goals in the school lounge didn't really help with the fact. Act. So she did find out. The hard way, yeah.
must have been hard. Nope. You know, it must be difficult. Well, for you. Having parents is no go to. Yeah, it's nothing big. Because I have friends like you. Karashima blushes, but he keeps it hidden. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Yeah. And Midori walks off. Karashima smiles. But when they get there, there, this one they actually end up at the place. So luckily, the tea, luckily the cafeteria, luckily there's a drive-through. So, oh, and they gave us our food. I'm surprised they didn't try to say anything. You know, like, like, uh, yeah, yeah, I got that. But, but, so, so, what you gonna be doing? So, what are we ordering? Uh, I just went to Taco Bell. My Taco Hell. Taco Hell? Hey, hey, they're Taco. Hey, Taco Bell has some, some of those things that can make your stomach go turn. Sheesh. <laughs> What'd you order? Chicken Jamlupa. Oh, sweet dog. I ordered the same thing. You did? Let's hope they have the same. Yeah, I ordered four. Four? Four? Oh, yeah, we haven't eaten. Yeah, dog. Oh, we haven't eaten at all, actually. We haven't eaten in three days. We haven't? No. Well, not noticeable to you. You're you have a bear, and yeah, bears can go years without eating. It is winter. Or see, see, you have, you're lucky. You have that bear shit in you. But rabbits don't get to do that. <laughs> so I'm hungry. You must have a really strong metabolism because I haven't seen you work out at all. Oh, I know, dog. Oh, because I do. I have that, uh... <laughs> I'm not saying I don't like it. At this rate. <laughs> and immediately it's when they drive off. Because, well, they're holding up the line. I... But immediately, this is when they're stopped by a car. car. <sighs> Who the fuck is... Oh, shit. What? <sighs> oh, fuck. Is that a couple of people? That's heroes. And this one immediately, they hear a tap on the window. <sighs> and this one, he opens the door. Do you know why I stopped you? Because I look like a villain? Villain? Let me guess, because we're gay and we look like villains? Uh, no, sir. Or that's not why we stopped you. We need you to come with us. Us? What for? Uh, you're Izuku Midoriya? Nope, I'm not, Iz I'm not Izuku. You're not? Nope. Oh, I'm Billy. Hey. Billy. Billy. And this when he said, this when he says, "Well, you look a hell of a lot like Deku." No. Do I know you? Deku chopped cut the act. Oh no, shit. shit. Is that really how you greet your friends? And care, Katsuki, we stopped being friends years ago. So I'm gonna only say this once: get your fucking car, get your fucking hands off my car, or I'm gonna break them, gum, and then shove them up your ass. Jeez, Deku is just a hunk of metal. And so is your mom, but yeah, I haven't fucked her, and I haven't put her hands, my hands around her ass, now did I? <laughs> oh. oh, what do you want? What? 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 
the drug lord king, you know? Oh, Katsuki, I should punch you for asking me that question. I am a model citizen. You got fired from your chemistry job. I work. As? None of your fucking business, now is it? Sure, it's your cop ID. Yeah. And all that shit. It. But. It's none of your business. You know, I could arrest you for having a smart mouth. And I could say citizen's arrest for you being. Ain't racist to get. Find someone who has a villainous court, but we don't get what we want, now do we? And also, you can move your car. He points at everyone at the back. You're holding up the line. Like, that's when you hear a honk on the horn. Hey, move that car! Alright, he point. Why ain't I care at go? Oh, he's blocking it, not me! Well? This ain't over, Izuku. No. Yeah, yeah, go no. Yeah, go slick your, your grandma's pussy is the only thing you're good at. And this one, the cops immediately get out of the way. <sighs> you okay? Me. Eh. Another day. <sighs> What's the old saying? Another day. Hey, another death course. <laughs> something that you get used to. No. drive off. What was that all about? Care Bacos on us. Remember, the mysterious Midoriya case, and next thing you know, a drug lord pops up out of thin air? Raise suspicions. So what are we doing? We're taking my house. Isn't, don't say no Chaco owns that house? Not that one. Damn, hell no. I wouldn't dream going back to that slut. But not with one, not for one fucking minute. I'd rather die from a fucking heart attack than, than go back to her. And she knows it. With my door, yeah? Yeah. Well, here we are. We actually got here. Yep. This is when Midoriya and them actually get to the house. Wait, is this? Yep. The old house that uh, I used to live in when I was a woman with my pa. You think anyone lives here? They better not. But. And this is when he opens the door. I'm surprised the keys still work. I'm supposed to. And he opens it and closes it. But immediately, this one Midoriya pulls out some iron and points at someone. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, easy, easy. Aizawa! What? The fuck are you doing in my house? Oh, dude. Dude, cops are keys orders. I have, I have to keep an eye on you. Uh, get out or get shot. Your choice. Midoriya, let's take this civilizingly. It's, it's not at your house. So either... Get out, or have a bullet in your head. Because technically, this is breaking and entering. Right, motherfucker. So get the fuck out. 
just put the gun down. Oh, I ain't putting crap down. Oh, and you never tell an armed guy who has a bullet that pointed at your head that, to put the gun down. That's just gonna make the guy, I literally pull the trigger more, dummy. So. Oh. What are you doing? Are you gonna get out? Or are you gonna have a bullet in your head? This is when he hears, that'll be unwise, young Midoriya. Uh, back up or you get shot. Midoriya, we just wish to talk. Uh, why does everyone want to talk to me? Hey, what am I, a fancy celebrity or something? I don't know. Oh. Karashima? Fuck you, all my... I, I deserve that. This one... Actually, no, let's make it better. This one... You know, I saw... I, this one, uh, all my says, young Karashima... Go get it. Go get lung cancer. I deserve that. You deserve to have tuberculosis, but we don't get what we want now, do we? Wait. Now, are you... Now. Actually, what are you doing in my house? Can you put down the... And he starts aiming it at his nuts. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, okay. Sheesh. He's speak, or you're going to end up as a woman. We just need to ask questions. Do you need to ask questions where I was or something? And, well, yeah. Uh, you mysteriously disappeared. I didn't mysteriously disappear. I was out of the country. Hey. You were out of the country. Yeah. Where I go is none of your heroes' business. It's, I am not a mother. I'm not the president of Japan. Japan has it. It's a fair. It's a rhetorical. Call answer. An idiot. Hey, hey. Hey, I will shoot you too. Ugh. Okay, okay. Now, no. You. Who? Why are you here besides me? I saw, this one I saw says, Hey, Alma, you think you can wait hey, to tell the people that uh, may tell uh, the hero sighted they can stop looking? Of course. Of course. <sighs> and this one I always says, I know you're the drug lord. And this one he starts clicking it. Yeah. And I want in. But Dorian and Karashima look at him like, What? You'd be surprised how much the Hero Society doesn't pay that well. Oh, how much do they pay you? Fifty dollars per week. Fifty bucks for being a hero? Well, that's actually true, dog. So you're in this for the money? Yeah. In return, right? Right? big hush hush. Hey, having a hero on our side could be helpful. gonna be bullets in your brain. Got it. I completely understand. Do you? Because right now you don't look like you understand. Okay. 
And this one, he, when Dory does, still puts a gun in his head. Who told you where I, how, you, where I lived? Uh, Bakugo did. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. Then it will be a problem. But because then you gotta find out how to cover up your tracks. Uh, damn it, I. Uh. Okay, so you want to beat me with us? Yes. I guess we got another. I guess we don't have a choice now, do we? Not really, considering that everyone was mysterious. You becoming a, you disappearing and just coming back? And everyone suspected that I was the drug lord. Too big of a coincidence. You coming back, making all that. Yeah. Well, I'm here now. Oh. oh. Any meat? Lee, this is when Midoriya... He just looks at them. And bluntly says, Okay. Well. I am now fine. Shima, you good with this? Technically, we have no choice, so... Let's just deal with his demands. Still, it's surprisingly... Surprising. Let's do this. After that, this is when Midoriya literally gets to... There. 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 And this is when Bakugo... Oh, literally said... I mean, this is when uh, immediately Bakugo walks in, and Midoriya immediately put down the iron just in case. Whoa, where'd you get the iron? That's none of your business, Patsuki. <laughs> Hey. <clears throat> hey, Izuku, it's just us questions. He asked the questions, and you can, and he can tell you. Midoriya has just been out of the country. Out of the country? Yeah. What country has he been? India? Yeah. Why would he go to India? He told me it's none of my business. So, I respected his wishes. Kat Aizawa, it's our job. Obvious, it's our job to be heroes. Interrogation is for the police department, Katsuki. And only the, the police department. And there's something here on the radio that is a bank robbery. Looks like it's your call. And Katsuki leaves. <sighs> Well, I definitely don't put any locks on the doors. How did you all even get in? I completely locked this place up before I left. Lock picks. With what? The windows? Back basement door. I knew I should have added more locks.
Okay, so how many, how much money do you two make a day actually? Selling the, this crap? You mean our job? Yeah. A drug dealer that gets paid a lot more than you think. And now that all three of us can split it 50. It's literally that good? Now if I can split it to pretty much 50 50, yeah. Anyway, it isn't when Midoriya just yet starts walking. And this when they start pretty much setting out the house. Spadoria doesn't want to turn so does does bleh, does not turn on the TV. And let's just say but Kairoshima does not blame them one bit. You're not gonna turn on the TV. Fifty bucks says that every channel is about us. Us. Well, actually, probably. Right? You are the sun, step. And I ain't shit. It. All right. Shit. And this one, Midoriya just sits down. Ugh. With Midoriya. Yeah. And Karashima. This one, Karashima start. Or it's mine. It's actually started living with Midoriya, away from his parents. <sighs> and that's when he hears a knock on the door. Go away. Hey, Izuku, it's me. E. Ida. Then definitely fuck off. Oh, for love. Katsuki. Hey, hey, I ain't breaking an injury. We don't have a warrant. You break down my door, I'm gonna put a bullet in your head. And immediately, this is when it's lockpicked. Midoriya immediately pulls out his gun and shoots. Holy shit! You thought that I was joking? Jesus, Midoriya, we just want to talk! I don't want to talk to you. Midoriya, please put the gun down. Um, this is when Midoriya shoots him in the all shoots Karashima right in the arm. Next time I won't miss. Yes. Midoriya, please, we just wish to talk. What is with you heroes and talking? And immediately, this is when... And the gun has been hit by acid. Ah! You bitch! Ah! You... This one's see Mina. Huh. This is when Doria gets up and starts popping his, no, popping his neck. Modoria, yeah, chill. We just wish to talk. Then start talking. And, and you're paying for that gun. And my door. Hey, and this one Midoriya just kick ex Mina. Ow! What the heck? Wipe your shoes. Oops. And that's what they do. You can't need first aid. You ain't using shit. Really? Really? So they either start talking or get out. No, because either way, it's gonna end badly. Because dead or alive. I already had Aizawa talk to me, and I told you I was out of the country. That's not what we're here for. Then what the fuck do you want? We want to say sorry to Karashima. 
you want to say sorry to the person you bullied and accused of being a villain 24-7 then of something he can't control and something thing that he did not ask for and yet you constantly bullied him neglected him didn't treat his wounds ignored did a stupid prank on him 24-7 then I never thought of his out of him going suicidal oh is that what you meant Mina looks down and starts to tear up aren't you his ex tell me something did you enjoy being a whore while oh you you were single did you enjoy being uh, the fat fucking hippo that you are? Huh? 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 Did you enjoy the fact that cheating on him, him with that, he points at Bakugo, oh, and that, he points at and Mina, but he points at Ochako and Bakugo. Oh, tell me something. You think he didn't know? What they don't know is that Karashima is in the other room. Well, Karashima is not going to forgive that easily. And what makes you think that? If he did, it, he would have came back years ago. Oh. You're not friends to him. You're monsters. Demons. It's God themselves. Hold up, how is a God... Uh, the bad guy. Really? You're asking me that? And he raped a woman in his sleep. He flooded an entire flooded the entire world. Well, he also f let's not forget it. The fact that he's also oh, that's a big ass skull. Was there a where deer around here? Anyway, sorry for that. that. Anyway, this was immediately. Sorry about that. This is what Midoriya says. Yes. All right. Hey. We still wish to. You're gonna have to take it up to him. You can come out, Karashima. This is when immediately he comes out. Kats, I mean, Karashima, we should get out. Oh. What? This one tears run down Karashima's eyes and he yells, Get out! You heard him. Um, get out. If you really want to be his friends, you respect his wishes. And that's when they leave. Hey, Karashima, are you... And immediately Karashima hugs Izuku and starts to let his tears drop on him. And pretty much they have a moment. And immediately he, Midoriya sees All Might, and he gives him the look, gives him a cold, dead stare, a stare that will symbolize he will kill him. He may not have have his gun, but he sure as hell has claws and fangs. Fangs. And All Might just walks away. Hey, this is when Midoriya just picks him up, closes the door. Or, and bluntly says, definitely getting more locks. Locks. <sighs> this is when Karashima just pretty much come to stay in comfort, and Midoriya is with him. After Midoriya immediately, this is when Bakugo took, finally fell asleep. I mean, not Bakugo, Karashima fell asleep. <sighs> this is when Midoriya is just petting him. What they did to you was too much. Forgiveness is not going to happen to them. With Bakugo and his friends, 
I told you. I fucking told you all he was not going to forgive. We should have listened. Hmm, no shit. That was very rude of Midoriya. We broke into his house without a warrant. He has rights to shoot. Who that ass? Doesn't take a fucking expert. What the hell's your problem? My problem? You really gonna ask me what my pro freaking problem is right now? After the shit we done to him? Huh? You really think he was gonna forgive us that easily? Yeah, that's what I thought. That silent shit. It says you didn't want his forgiveness. You wanted to betray it. That is not true. Really? Then why are you saying silent? Everyone in the room stays silent. I fucking knew it. That's cold blood. You know what? We're done. What do you mean? We are done. I'm done working with you all. Oh, I'm moving. I mean, I am. I'm done. I'm. I'm done. And this one, he just breaks it. His necklace, which class when I gave to him. We're done. And, and Bakugo walks off. This one, Manetta, this one, Ebron looks at Manetta, and he does the same. You all are fucked up. Bakugo, wait. This is when we get to Bako, breathing heavily and just angry. Bakugo? Oh shit, he's about to have a mental outburst. Hey, big guy. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, it's okay, chill. Oh, it's okay. What they don't is that Izuku's just looking and he just see he's care Bako having a mental breakdown and just crying he's sorry. Hey, it's not your fault. And this one get Baku, this one Midoriya just knocks on his window. And this one they see him. This one Manetta opens the door. <laughs> you have perfect don't you have perfect timing? Like, yeah, I do. And he gets it, he sneaks his way in. Let me guess, evening the score, we broke it into your house, now you get to break in our dorms? Uh, somewhat, but it's more of another way around. Wait, what's this? R. Kelly found guilty on child portioning sex abuse charges in feral trial. Dude, this was years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, that was years ago. I'm surprised they actually brought that up. This is what Midoriya says. But this is what Midoriya is saying. Look, I got good news for him. He points at Karashima. He points at Bakugo. Karashima is willing to give you a second chance. But you gotta earn it. Alright? So none of that bullshit. He nods. Good. Anyway, I should get going. Wait, you two, before you two start having sex. I'm not gay though. Oh, Bakugo, don't pull that crap. It's not, it doesn't take a fucking expert to tell of what. But is what? Alright. 
And it's when Bakugo just hug, hugs Mineta and just has a slight day, has this moment. There. Hey. Hmm? Take care of him, alright? I will. And that's when ba Midoriya leaves. And immediately, this is when and Midoriya goes in the room and needs to see her. Leave me alone! Look, I'm Karashima, I just wish to talk. And immediately, Midoriya kicks the door down! And then says, Hey! Wait. Hey. Hey. And this one, he immediately, All Might sees him, and Midoriya just throws a punch. Punch. And this one, All Might tends to fight. This one, All Might tries to not fight back, but Midoriya punches him in his side. Which mainly means him Small Might. The fuck? And this one, he grabs him. Give me one good reason I should bite your head off right here, right now. Yo, Midoriya, please! Ease. I'm just a messenger. Messenger? Start talking. Hey, and it better be good damn news. It's not. Karashima's parents, they were murdered. Well, hallelujah! Uh, uh, what? Karashima hates his parents! It's dumbass! Now, get out! And he kicks him out. Well, he kicks All Might out. Okay, that's it. And I am, he closes the door, immediately putting locks on that door. And the door or explodes in the back. God damn it. Okay, who keeps knocking down my door? And he see, he's Endeavor. Really? You're coming with us. I ain't going nowhere. I'm done with y'all breaking down my fucking door. You know what? I'm tired of being a good guy. You want to fight? Let's go. Oh. And that's when they start fighting. And Endeavor tries to shoot Ud at him, but Midoriya uses his bare or strength and literally just bites on onto Ned and on bleh, on Endeavor for his neck on Endeavor's shoulder. Damn! Damn! Um. And he just pierces the skin, immediately making get Endeavor screaming and pretty much. I was trying to get Izuku off of him. Which, I'll tell you, does not go well for him. I tell you what, it does not. At all. All it does is just pisses Midoriya way more off. <laughs> off. And he continues literally biting. And immediately the skin pierces. And immediately this one. And Midoriya. Yeah, releases him. <sighs> ah! Fuck! Next time, I won't hold back. Heck, and he punches. There's all. He punches Endeavor, knocking him out. And he just spits out. Out, uh, well, all the crap it is in his, that's in his uh, throat. Blech. You alright? Yeah. Yeah. Shit taste. Shit. I bet that tastes great. It really didn't. You sure you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I pit. did not eat that crap. You okay? Are you sure you okay? Yeah.
You all right? Yeah. Yeah, just. <sighs> Man, if anger was a bloody a person, I think I would have snapped by now. I can't really disagree there. Too, all right. I mean, what about you? I'm fine. Shit. All right. Let's get to work. Work. Uh, are you sure? Endeavor's knocked out and so is all night. Let's go. And that's what they do. They go back to their job. Oh. Uh, and immediately this is when and they start, well, making coke. Coke and all that. As I was there just to make sure that no heroes get in the way is the word that I would say. And luckily he doesn't, otherwise this would have ended far worse. Well, immediately, this is when Midoriya just thinking over there. Alright, let's get going. Must be one of those days. Yeah. So <clears throat> when they this when they get to the new guy, they get to the location. Well, who's buying it this time? do this. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> when they get done delivering the goods, this is when immediately they start talking to... This is when they get to the buyer. Which they are pretty much seeing, I'm going to say, a random hero. And they deliver the goods. Garrison went through their usual routes. But this is when one of the heroes says, hey, uh, you might want to be careful now. Why? Some of the heroes are increasing the patrols. 
controls. Here's the location, so the controls will be a bitch. Thanks. No problem. With Midoriya, with the bigger buyers. Hey, there's good. Hey, oh, hey, you might want to watch out. Why? There's a new gang around. They're trying to steal your territory. Uh, what do they call themselves? Uh, drugs for all. Drugs for all. Sounds someone who's bad for business. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for telling me. Hey, uh, no problem. Immediately, this is when Midoriya starts. This is when Midoriya gets to the locate, gets to people. I wonder how long this has been going on. Huh, to the point where they just started telling me. I could tell he's doing it. He wanted to work with the people who tried to take me down. He would have told me more. Meaning someone, which means he's not lying. Someone's trying to take out my business. But who? I don't really have that many enemies. Hell. I rarely have enemies, actually. And the enemies I do have are dead. Dead? Or just doing what they're told and staying off my territory. Meaning someone is doing this. And this immediately a limo walks in. If it isn't the king of the drug lords, come in. Midoriya just sees the guys who are packing iron. <laughs> so he does what he's told. So he does and goes in. Not even attending to remove the mask. The men try to attempt to, but Midoriya immediately slices their throat. Oh, don't try that. <laughs> and he just looks at them. And with intimidating eyes, even the driver's a little scared. For. I wanted to discuss business. You see, hey, you're making money a lot more than normal people would. Lord. And that's a problem. Why? It's con I just wish to do business. Yes. We don't have to start a war. Drug lord to drug lord. Lord. We could work together. And your name is... Walter White. You're a chemistry teacher, same as me. Walter White. Yeah, I heard of you. You had cancer. You had lung cancer there a while back. Then, and your wife let you do after she found out you were a drug lord. After that, thing, and then a cup, and then one of your, your sons and brothers-in-laws found out you were, and he joined in, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Hmm. I suppose that's not a bad thing, then. So, you want to do business with me? Yep. Huh. Are you that new drug guy who's been calling all for drugs? No. That's all for one. That's what he's been calling himself. And you notice the increase in patrol? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> all right. When do we start business? No. And that's when they end up at... Back at Midoriya's strong drugstore. So you've been keeping a real eye on me. And I... Yes, you and Karashima. You really know how to pick them. Well, Karashima doesn't take any of that narcotics. He doesn't? The only thing he smokes is cigars. I mean, mostly he smokes is cigarettes. Mostly that's for nerves. This is when Walter White sees him, 
and sees the marks on his le on his arms. Damn. No. What was that? Third or cigarette? Second, actually. I just took mine. Huh. Well, we're getting back to work. Right. Karashima, meet Walter Wright. I. Definitely a little bit more professional than the others. So, anyone corrupt? Any corrupted heroes in your pocket? You already know that. Aizawa, you already know him. True. Damn, good make it. Okay. I get that a lot. Let's do this. Hmm. Anyway, this is when Midori, yeah, Walter White, and Karashima start making the coke. Your friend really knows how to make coke. Trust me, he knows a lot more than he looks. Looks, but we do more than just coke. Coke, you do. Marijuana, weed. Karashima's in charge with the rat. Karashima's in charge with the weed and the uh, marijuana. No, I'm in charge with the coke. Look at meth. Hmm, isn't that a little hard on you two? Nope. Oh, Karashima's got that shit down. Trust me. This one. And Walter White sees about a lot of weed and coke and all that ready to be delivered. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. Now we just got to deliver them. It's got to be like 10,000 10, pounds. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's today. And that's when they do. They continue doing their thing. And this one also, oh, I saw gets his bribes. Oh, he's looking the other way. And it's been going on for quite, quite some time. Midoriya and Karashima grow. This one, Midoriya, it gets away. But this one, Karashima says, Hey, um, can I confess something? What? You're probably going to say no, but listen. I've grown to you. Like, really grown. Midoriya's thinking, oh, he's confessing. And pretty much this one, he says, So, if you're wondering if you could... And Midoriya just kisses him. Mm. Hey. Does that answer your question? This one he tears up. Oh, shit. Let me guess, you were scared I was going to say no? A little bit. <laughs> it's fine. This is what Walter White's thinking. <sighs> well, luckily these... Luckily, Jap Japanese care about more honor than anything. But it doesn't mean that drugs are not a bad th sign. <sighs> And business has been going well pretty far, to the point where Midori got a rich mansion, I got a mansion, fancy shit, all that, but mostly he doesn't keep any guards. Walter White starts living in them as well. Oh. Oh. And Karashima's happy just to have a couple of dogs with him. Oh. Oh. Looks like this is the... <laughs> By the way, in case you're wondering, ten years has passed, and pretty much business is booming. Hey, didn't you meant to take care of something with Inko? What are you talking about? Uh, killing someone. I forgot that. So, let's see what's on the news. We interrupt this by a devastating loss. All Might and Inko Midori were murdered by, by All for One, who was shot down and killed. Ill by Katsuki Bakugo. This is when everyone just looks at each other, and immediately you just see a corkscrew being open. Yeah, they threw a party. But next thing you know, Midori wakes up with Karashima sleeping on top of them, both of them naked. <laughs> uh, that was good. Are you awake? Yep, I just woke up. Can you give me some water? Sure. I think we got some water. 
Or why? I would walk, but I can't feel my legs. Thanks. <laughs> I understand. Let me grab him. This is when Midoriya wakes up, and he sits to see Walter White on the chandelier. How the fuck did he get up there? This is when he rolls, and immediately carries she but Midoriya managed to catch him. Phew. And he puts him on the couch. I swear. That's the last time we go full party. Pretty. And that's what... Then he continues. And that's about it. Actually, he gives the water, and they continue their thing. But they've been doing the drug business for quite some time. And the corruption in Iwe has gone worse and worse. In. The only one that's not corrupt is Katsuki. And that's about it, actually. The world has pretty much changed. That's been the one shot of, what if Deku was a drug lord? Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. This has been Dunkle Dylan here, God of Chaos. And I will see you all in the next video.